hello everybody hey i just found out mm, about 45 seconds ago that i have passed my NCLEX. so i thought i'd make a video with you i was planning to do this as soon as i found out the results because i had a feeling that i passed but i didn't want to jinx myself and make the video before i actually found out um but I want to make a video on how to pass the next gen NCLEX on your very first try in the first 85 questions, which is what I did, and I'm going to teach you how to do that too. Okay, right, so I'm going to kind of break this up into different sections. So I'm going to talk about what to do before the exam, how to study, how to prep, all that, what to do the day of the exam, and then what to do the day after the exam until you wait for your test results, because that can be just as much anxiety as all those days anticipating the actual, the actual exam. So, here we go. Before the exam, how are you gonna study? Everyone has different study habits, which is totally fine, whatever works for you. What worked for me personally was UWorld and Mark K. So I saw Mark K all over the place, but I was not able to like download any of his audio recordings, anything, because I don't know, they were all taken down for some reason. So I've never heard of Mark K until studying for the NCLEX and I was like, you know what, nothing can hurt, so might as well check him out. He is like the best study tool I used and honestly I only watched three or four of his videos and because there's 12 of them but I only watched three or four because they're kind of long they're like an hour and a half and I watched it like the day before my exam so I didn't really have the time if you have the time I recommend watching all 12 because they can't hurt um, but definitely space out your time because they're kind of lengthy and when I was trying to look for them though, I finally, finally found them because I was clicking on everything and I got so many viruses on my computer. My dad is gonna kill me when he watches this, but I got so many viruses on my computer trying to find those stupid videos. So I linked them below. If you wanna check them out for yourself, the ones that do not have viruses and the ones that will get you all 12 audio recordings. They're not video, like like a visual video. They're only audio. So he does some say some things where he's like writing something on the wall. You can tell he's in a classroom, but it doesn't really matter. What he's saying is what matters the most. I recommend doing the ones that you are least confident on if you don't have time to watch all 12. I did just three of them, like I said, and I did the cardiac one, the OB one, and I think there's a second OB one that I did as well. I just talked to you, didn't I? <laughs> all right, number one, I gotta say again, congratulations, 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 wonderful, okay? Sorry, my grandma called and I had to talk to her because I just passed. Okay, anyways, let's get back to it. Just talked about Marquet. So yeah, I definitely recommend um, reviewing his stuff. Like I said, I did the cardiac and both OB ones because that's where I struggled the most and like studying for the NCLEX. So once you do that though, everything else that you do is gonna be a breeze. So. Breath. Then another way I studied was U World, which I know some people um, they use like Archer and all those kind of things. I don't, I'm not familiar with Archer, so I didn't use that. And I had to purchase U World through like my school. We did a lot of practice questions with my school, um, but through my school we ended up paying for six um, practice exams, and that was by far the most helpful thing I have ever done. So I'm gonna tell you how. I like went about the practice exams. So I know my, when my sister took the NCLEX, she only took two practice exams, which is fine. She also passed in the lowest amount of questions you can get and she's been an RN ever since. But I just feel like for people who have tons of anxiety, like me, getting more practice exams just kind of solidifies it in your mind, gives you more confidence and knows like, so you know that your chances of passing are very high. So on every single one of my practice exams, I got, as a scoring, I got either high or very high. Puts all your information together, and then it tells you like what your probability is of passing that NCLEX. So mine was always high or very high. I had one that said like inconclusive or something because I didn't have enough information or something. I don't know, it was kind of weird. So maybe that one was borderline, I'm not quite sure. But everything else was completely high. And like I said, I passed the NCLEX, so it's totally fine. So. How I went about that though, I went through you where I went through all the questions after I took the exam. I took it like in a setting like I was actually gonna be taking my NCLEX. I didn't have any distractions. I put my phone on do not disturb. I didn't get up and you know use the bathroom or do anything that I wouldn't probably be doing during the NCLEX. So 
I sat down, took the exam. It was, I think, 100 questions for the practice exam, which you would hopefully only need 85 on the NCLEX. Um, and then what I did was after I actually took it and I got my results, I went through the exam again and anything that I had gotten right, unless I completely guessed on it, but anything that I had, got, I had gotten right, I just skipped past because I was like, you know, I know it, it's in there somewhere, I understand the concept somehow, I'm not even going to worry about restudying this stuff, like I need to focus on what I don't know or what I can't remember. So I just went past everything I got right unless I guessed and then everything that I got wrong, I would look at the explanation that UWorld gives you. They actually give really, really helpful explanations and I wrote it down on my notebook and I think I only had like six pages at the end of all six, um, like, exams. I only had like six pages full of questions that I really wanted to review and I didn't write down the questions I wrote down like like if I got you know the question wrong about um I don't know metformin I would write down the drug metformin I'd write down what class it is why is it used what is it contradicted in all those kind of things and that's how I would use UWorld. So UWorld with Mark K together it was exactly the only things I used. After you're all done with UWorld, all set with Marque, um, I also, one thing that you guys won't have that helped me, the big sister guide that my sister made me. Um, this, she just talks about literally everything life related. So there's a section here about um, interviews and then the NCLEX. Tif tips for the NCLEX. So I can read you some of that. I'll be your little online big sister because my sister won't let me sell this. <laughs> okay, so prepare to spend some money. Yep. UWorld, she put UWorld in here too. Best study subscription ever is what she said. It's honestly such a great interactive study guide. Okay. Um, she bought an NCLEX study guide book and never opened it. I didn't buy one single like NCLEX study book because that is not how I learn. If that's how you learn best, by all means get it, but I'm a very like visual person. I'm I cannot read out of a textbook. Um people make flashcards. My sister's a big flashcard maker. Um she listened to the NCLEX question podcast, which I personally didn't listen to, but she would whenever she was driving or showering or working out, she would listen to these and she said this really helped her. And they're free, which is great. And let's see, gosh, she has so much. Okay, let me, this is the last thing that she put. You've got this. You went through three and a half or four, for most people, years of hell to prepare. There's a reason why Fisher or any college, their pass rate is so impressive. Just keep your head down, study like crazy for three to four weeks and you'll be totally fine. That's the best piece of advice I'd give you. Because honestly, I studied so hard for, I can't even say three to four weeks. I studied like religiously hard for probably two weeks and then I passed the NCLEX. Like it really wasn't even that much of my time. And I'm not a super naturally smart person. Like I do tend to have like higher grades, but I study so hard to get those. And I don't think you have to study long for the NCLEX. You just have to study the right things. So UWorld really helps condense that, really shows you what the NCLEX will be. And UWorld is set up almost exactly how the NCLEX is. It's just the same format, the same clicking style. Like. It's just so easy to go from that to the NCLEX. I don't know about Archer or anything like that. I can't speak on anything other than the NCLEX or UWorld, but yes, UWorld Marque. That will get you to pass on your first try. Um, the best things you can know for the actual exam is priority and safety. This is common knowledge, but people overlook this a lot and they focus on the little nitty gritty things. The NCLEX is a safety exam. They want to just make sure that you are going to be a safe nurse. So everything in there is about safety. You know, there's some like not, you know, some just like straight knowledge questions, but most of them are like, are you, if you were in this scenario, would you kill your patient or would you save them? You know, something like that. So base every one of your questions off of which of my patients are going to die first. How do I save this person? All those, everything is safety. Um, and the best way that I got through this, honestly, was praying. I'm a very religious person, to put that out there. If you're not, maybe now's the time to start. <laughs> so I would take some time, honestly, during 
my study process and as a way to take like a break for myself I would just read my Bible that I have and I'd read a chapter on anxiety I'd read you know a chapter on stress you know being worried all those kind of things and then the day of the exam I prayed like crazy I was worshiping in my car on the way there I was going ham and I was even during the exam like during the exam I literally like went like this one time and I was like in my head I was like Lord please because I was on question 85 out of 85 I was like please let my exam shut off because the odds of you passing at 85 versus failing it's much much higher that you're more likely that you're passing at 85 than failing unless you completely bombed it but I don't think anybody who's taking that in NCLEX really like that doesn't happen very often but I remember praying and be like please let this shut off when I click next and it did and I was like oh, thank you lord so praying definitely helps and I think God's a big reason why I passed that exam. Okay, now, day of the exam. Eat breakfast, eat breakfast. Even, I guess, if you don't normally eat breakfast, don't eat breakfast because you don't want to throw off your schedule. You don't want to throw off your whatever. But if you're one of those people who usually eat breakfast and then when they get nervous, they don't, like, still eat your breakfast. Like, eating food is just going to give you the energy and the stamina you need to get through the exam. Because even if you're finishing your practice exams, I finished 100 question practice exams in like an hour. I like just breezed through it. Maybe because I wasn't really, really taking my time or like, you know, I don't know what it was. I wasn't as nervous as I was for the real NCLEX. But the NCLEX came along. I took, I think like an hour and 45 minutes to complete it in 85 questions, which is kind of long for me. Like I'm a quick test taker. Like it doesn't take me that long. So when I saw the time when I was leaving, I was like, what? What was I in there for so long for? But you're gonna need the stamina. Stamina. You're gonna need the stamina. Stamina. Did I say that right? You're gonna need the energy to get through it. Um, day of the exam, bring your ID. I brought a whole load of things and I kept it in my car because like I said, I get very anxious. I arrive everywhere like two hours early because I'm just an anxious person. So I brought like my laptop, my passport, like, water, food, drinks, everything that I could think of that by any chance they're like, oh, you don't have this, I have to turn you away. I could be like, oh, it's in my car, let me go grab it. And I just kept it like under my seat. But the one thing you definitely do need, I didn't need any of those things. I have to go back to my car once. You definitely need your ID. Bring your license. Do not forget your license. And then don't wear any jewelry or anything. If you do, you have to take it off there, which isn't a big deal, but like, just don't, it doesn't, it's an extra hassle. Don't worry about it. Same with your phone. Leave your phone in your car. I didn't even bring it. I did. I put on silent, put it in my car. I didn't even bring it in to like the area with me because you know, they have you lock it up and you know, it's just, it's another risk. People worry about cheating, all that kind of stuff. Don't even bring it. And as soon as I told people that, like they're checking me and I was like, oh, I don't have my phone. When they ask for your phone, they're like, oh my gosh, perfect. Like that is the best news ever because they don't have to go through the stress and the hassle of explaining things and all that stuff. And then locking it away, people steal it, whatever. So don't even bring your phone in. Okay, during the actual exam, if you get to question 85 and it shuts it off, you are probably golden. I can't say you're totally golden, but if you, like, I didn't feel like, wow, that was a breeze, but I was like, mm, I don't know, like, that was, it was all right, like, it was okay, and I passed. My friend also, his shut off in 85 questions, he also passed, and he thought it was very hard. So it's like, you know what? Honestly, if you think it's hard, but you passed it, you probably are doing better than the people who thought it was a breeze and also um, finished 85 questions. Okay, that's just my little, how my brain works. So if it should shot off at 85, do not panic. That is normally a very, very, very good sign. But if it keeps going past 85, you can get up to like 150, I think, 150 questions. If it goes up further than that, do not panic. It's just a number and you can still pass. You can fail in 85 questions and pass at 150. Okay, so do not freak out if you keep going. And keep like keep your head, you know, keep your composure, keep everything like answering the exact same way you are and it will shut off eventually and you'll pass. You'll be just fine. You got it. I believe in you. Your family believes in you. You got to believe in yourself. After the exam, distract yourself. This is advice that my sister gave me. And honestly, very, very good advice because 
you're anxious, you're nervous, you're, you know, you're just waiting to find out, the anticipation's there, your job's relying on it, your move is relying, like, you know, everything is relying on getting that clicks. Distract yourself, you know, go hang out with friends, go hang out with your family, watch movies, don't study, don't do anything school related or whatever, just completely like, you know, I cleaned my room, cleaned my bathroom, I got ready for my move, like I didn't even think, I mean, I tried my hardest not to think about the NCLEX at all. Um, and if it helps you, do the Pearson view trick. Right after my exam, I went onto my computer and I'll show you how to do it, but you have to go to Pearson view, which is with what the NCLEX is through, and you can do this little trick that it will, if it doesn't let you sign up for another exam, you have to put in all your credit card information, everything, like do not skip a step or else it won't work. Put in everything. If it does not let you sign up for another exam, that means you passed. If it does let you sign up for another exam, that most likely means that you failed. But I have heard where this isn't completely accurate with the failing aspect, but I haven't heard anyone who has gotten like the passing trick and has failed, if that makes sense. So that's usually a very, very, very good sign if that works for you. And then pay to do the quick results. If not, you have to wait six weeks to, to know if you pass, which if you can wait that long, kudos to you, but I cannot. And you have to wait 48 hours and they'll post your quick result. This isn't like an official thing, but it tells you, like it definitely tells you if you passed or failed, but it's not like you won't get your, you're not licensed to practice until like that six weeks or something, but it does tell you how you did in the end clicks. So definitely pay for that. I think it's only like $7 or something. And then last but not least, trust yourself. You did not get this far to fail. And even if you did, you'll take it again and you'll pass. You did not do all this work, all this studying, you know, all the sacrifice to fail your NCLEX. I believe in you, you got this. And if you have any other questions or, you know, tips for anyone else, you can leave them below. And check out Mark K, he's below. You know, do my little tricks, everything like that. You'll be just fine. Trust yourself, trust your gut. Go with your first choice, don't change any answers. You got this. And good luck, let me know how you guys do.